Hello, and welcome to this chair yoga class today. I'm getting older every day. I think we all are, except for Benjamin Button. So uh, probably most people taking this yoga class will relate to that. And I've noticed more and more that I'm starting to round over. So this class is a postural class. I need it as much as you do. And please have a strap handy to help you in class today. All right, so we'll start sitting up in our chair nice and tall. Legs coming straight out from the hips, feet flat on the floor. Shoulders over hip joints. Let's roll the shoulders forward. Squeeze them up to the ear, press them back and down. Close your eyes. Take some slow, deep breaths. With each inhale, feel the front of your chest broaden. With each exhale, feel your shoulder blades flattening and sliding down your back. You may feel yourself beginning to arch your back. So if that happens, begin to tuck your tailbone and draw your belly in so that you're touching the back of your chair with your waist. Good posture starts at the feet. We're going to focus on supporting with the core and then opening the upper back and chest and strengthening our postural muscles in the chest. For our pranayama today, we're going to do something that teacher Sherry Zach Morris calls blowhole breathing. Imagine that you're a whale and you have that blowhole right in the middle of your upper back behind your heart, between your shoulder blades. And breathe in through that blowhole and blow out through the back body. Again, as you breathe out, you may notice your shoulders pressing back and down. Your shoulder blades reaching down and towards each other. Your chest broadening. I feel the muscles of your shoulders and upper arms warming up because you're actively engaging your shoulder muscles chest muscles. And let's open the eyes if they've been closed and come back into the room. Start with some warm ups. Let's look around. Thank you. 
and come back to center. Let's grab the seat of our chair with one hand and lower the ear in the opposite direction. Inhale up, release the hand. Grab the seat of the chair with the other hand and lower your ear away from that hand. Inhale back up. Let's lower the ear to one side. And then we're going to move the head forward and backward over the shoulder. back to center, lift the head, lower the ear the other way, and then move the head forward and backward over the shoulder. back to center with the head. We already did rotation, didn't we? No, we didn't. I don't remember. We didn't, I don't think. Let's look around, I'm sorry. Lost my place. If we're doing it again, it won't hurt. And come back to center. Let's reach the arms forward, draw the shoulder blades down the back, support with your core. Open the arms wide. Feel the shoulder blades, how they move towards each other as you do that. Come on back forward. Notice how the shoulder blades poke out in front of you, up behind you. I'm sorry, I'm very spacey today. I don't know why, I apologize. And let's open up. Feel the chest broaden and the shoulder blades slide down your back. Bring the arms forward. And reach out. And one more time, let's come forward. And reach out. Let's drop the arms and notice how we feel. I'm gonna bring the arms as if we're holding trays. So again, you can feel the shoulder blades squeezing towards each other, the chest broadening, but we're supporting that with a nice lifted abdomen and tucked rib cage. And then we're gonna do airport examiner. 
You're going to the airport and they ask you to step wide and open your arms over your head, squeezing the elbows down, inhaling fingertips towards each other and only going as high as your range of motion will allow. Notice the movement of your shoulder blades up and down your back. Feel your chest broaden as you come down. Notice how we're working with our breath here as we have better posture. We have better breath, better breathing, more energy. Better, happier, healthier life. And release. Let's do some rest of our body work. So let's stretch out one leg. We'll point the toes up and flex, point and flex. We'll come back to our upper body, but meanwhile, we're supporting that with our good posture. And then let's add a hand, pointing and flexing the hand and the foot. While you're doing this, you can keep thinking about lifting up through your sternum and breathing out through your blow hole. And now I've switched, so I'm pointing my toe up and my fingers down. And then toes down and fingers up. Little brain game here. And let's circle. Now, can you circle the hand one way and the leg the other? I don't think so. <laughs> circle the toe and the hand at the same, same direction. And down. Ooh, that was a lot of work in repositioning ourselves. And let's bring the other leg out. And you can always do this with your heel on the floor if you need to. So we're starting just pointing and flexing the ankle. If you have the leg lifted, it gives you more core work, more upper thigh work. But if you need to keep your heel on the floor, that's perfectly okay too. All right, let's add a hand. So first we're going in unison. Pointing and flexing. And then we're going to circle. Oh, I'm sorry. Now pointing the toe up and the hand down. Can't even blame it on not having my morning coffee because I don't drink morning coffee. So. And we'll circle. And circle back the other way. And come back to center. Okay, we're going to do a breathing technique that also involves moving our upper body. If we were standing, it would involve our lower body as well. But we're going to curl in, also gets our spine moving, and inhale and open. Exhaling, bringing your arms to parallel, elbows towards your belly. Inhale, ex so it's kind of like that, uh, Airport scanner, but this time the palms go up. Palms go in and curl your fingers a little bit. Palms go up, elbows back. So we're opening that upper back, opening the chest, as well as the spine all the way down. 
but particularly focus on the upper body here. So as the shoulders come back, the elbows open, the chest lifts. And as we come in, we round the whole spine, but think about broadening the back and breathing out of that blowhole. And let's come back to center and take that in. Let's do one more leg thing before we come back to our upper body. Let's step out. And we're going to just step over a barrel. What's in the barrel today? Beer, a little cask of wine, maybe some something else. I don't know. Stepping over the barrel. All right, let's rest that leg. Holding onto the chair for support, we'll step over the barrel the other way. And if you can, you're bringing your toe to the floor and then the heel and lifting up and pressing off. So rather than just with a flat foot, like you're a ballerina, toe heel, If you have to do a flat foot, that's okay too. Okay, good job. Whew. Shake it out and toe heel back to center and grab your strap. So we'll start with our strap nice and wide, making a V shape with our arms. We're gonna pull the strap apart, inhaling. And again, stop wherever your range of motion is, but if you can come up all the way overhead, go for that. And you may need to widen the strap, you'll find out as you go behind yourself, coming all the way back down. Inhale, reaching out. If you can't go all the way behind you, just do what you can. Supporting with your core, tucking your lower ribs, feeling that stretch in your chest, deepening your breath, strengthening your postural muscles as you open your shoulders. Do one more. You may hear some creaking or clicking or popping. And that's okay, it just shows how much you need it. Relax for a moment, take a breath. Let's walk the hands in maybe at a foot so we're not quite as wide. Pulling the strap apart, gonna come on up. And at some point, as you go backwards, you probably find you have to bend your elbows to get your hands down behind you. Bending your elbows if you need to, and then coming forward. So as you pull your hands behind you with your elbows bent, you feel how you're broadening your chest and bringing the shoulder blades together, contracting those muscles behind your heart. You're gonna look 20 years younger just by standing up nice and straight. And the other secret is people think you're thinner. 
and have a better figure when you stand up straight too, because you're lengthening it rather than compressing it. Let's do three more. And two. And one. And release, Whew, shake it out. I'm gonna come to standing in a minute. Keep your strap handy. But let's just do a little marching just to get some aerobics happening and some more leg work and rest of your body involved. You can go faster if you want, or slower. Whatever is right for you is the perfect thing to do. Okay, let's slow it down. Take a breath. If you need to hold on to the chair, go ahead, or otherwise just come on up. And let's come stand next to our chair or behind the chair if you need to. Next to it so you can see me. If you need to be behind the chair to hold on, please do that. So we're going to find our Tadasana. Tuck the tailbone. Draw the belly up. And roll those shoulders forward. Up, back, and down. Turn the palms forward and feel how that expands your chest and engages those muscles in your upper back. We're going to come over into cat and dog using the seat of our chair. So bring your hands to the seat of your chair. Bend your knees a little bit if you need to. We're gonna round the back and tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. And then we'll lift the tailbone, lift the head and chest and look up. Round the back, tuck the tailbone, curl the chin in. Rotate, stretch up. Now, the lower back is more flexible. So when we need to move, we often do most of our movement from there, which can cause stress in our lower back. So we wanna to work to bring more flexibility into the upper back, which by nature is not as flexible because it has the rib cage around it, stabilizing it. So let's come back to our flat back table. And then we're gonna come into a little dog tilt. So you can bend your knees a little bit if you like. Stick your tailbone up, lift your head and chest. From here, press your elbows back and come down a little bit. Do you feel that action of your shoulder blades sliding down your back? Lift your chest a little more. Come back to a flat back. Round up, cat stretch. Come back to a flat back. Lift the tailbone, lift the chest. Bend the elbows back and feel the shoulder blades. Shoulder blades slide down your back and your chest lift up a little bit more. One more time, let's round up. Try lifting through that blowhole, lifting your upper back, not just your, tucking your lower back. And back to your flat back. Lift your tailbone, lift your chest. You can bend your knees if that'll help. And then press your elbows back and bend your elbows a little bit. Feel the shoulder blades slide down your back and your heart lift. And back to our flat back. And we'll slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Come back into Tadasana. 
And we're gonna do the banker pose. So if you don't need to hold on to the chair or if you just need one hand, we're gonna bring our thumbs into our armpits and we're gonna lift the chest. So again, we're not from the lower back, we're keeping the lower back nice and stable. Ribs tucked, elbows down and heart lifted. Feel the shoulder blades coming towards each other, chest expanding, lift your chest in banker pose. Now you can stay with banker pose or grab your strap and go a little bit more um, intense, I guess we could call it. And bring the strap underneath your armpits and back. Hold it evenly in front of you. And throw this over your shoulders and cross it. And then you're gonna reach underneath and grab the bottom of the strap. Up the strap. And we're gonna pull the bottom of the strap forward to help us lift our chest once again. So that same long lower body, lifted chest, pulling ourselves forward by the strap. Just take a few breaths here. Letting the strap help you stand up nice and tall. And release. Take the strap out. Now, if you need to hold on to the chair, And you're going to bring your hands behind you and hold the back of the chair. I guess everybody can do this first. Walk yourself as far away as you can so you feel the squeeze in your shoulder blades. Again, drawing the belly in and tucking the lower ribs. Imagine you're being pulled up by your breastbone. If it feels safe to look up, look up. Or you can look forward. Broadening the chest. And release and shake it out. If you need to hold on to the chair, do a second set of that. If you don't need to hold on to the chair, we're going to grab our strap, bring it in back of us about hip width apart with the back of our hands facing our back. So you're either holding onto the chair and doing a second set of what we just did, or you're pulling the strap apart and down, feeling how that's broadening your chest. You're supporting with a lifted belly and a tucked rib cage. And again, feel that chest lift. You're not arcing your lower back. Lifting from the breastbone, expanding your chest. And then again, if you're holding onto the chair, stay there. But if you don't need to hold onto the chair, you can come over into Yoga Mudra. Little bend in the knees. And again, your Yoga Mudra may not look like this one. That's perfectly okay. If your Yoga Mudra looks like this, that's fine. Wherever you are is perfect. And let's pull ourselves back up. And release the strap. Again, if you need to hold on to the chair, perhaps you can do goddess with one arm at a time. And we'll come into goddess pose. I'll stand in front of the chair, pretend it's behind me. So we're gonna step our feet out. Second position ballet, roll the shoulders back and down, press the knees back, and maybe you're holding onto the chair with one hand and bring one arm up. Feel that shoulder blade slide down your back. Come on down. Bring the other arm up. Come on down. 
Bring one arm up, broaden the chest, and down. Bring the other arm up, and down. And if you feel safe, bring both arms up. You can bring the thumb and forefinger together, three fingers extended. Just feeling a little crick in my neck, so I'm rotating my head. Two more breaths here, if you like, strengthening your legs. And again, either holding onto your chair or not, if you'd like, lift your heels, coming into a balancing pose. And release. And toe heel, toe heel, toe heel, back to Tadasana. Roll those shoulders forward, back and down. Palms facing forward. Tuck through here, lifted through here. I've got a little cheat sheet here if there's anything else I want to do standing. We're going to do one more standing pose. We're going to do downward facing dog. So you can use your chair, the seat of your chair or the back of your chair, whichever works for you. So if you're bringing your hands to the seat of your chair, walking yourself back with bent knees, imagine you're being pulled back by your hip creases. So remember how in table, we press the elbows in and lifted the chest. So we're going to do the same kind of thing here, only with the arms straight. I think I'm going to use the arm of my chair. Press the shoulder blades down. Lift the chest. So there's a nice opening in your downward facing dog. Feeling the front of your chest broaden, your shoulder blades flat on your back. Lovely, deep, long stretch. Let's round up and slowly walk towards the chair. And again, you could be at, you know, at the back of your chair. I'm going to do a back bend here. So you'd be holding the back of your chair. Elbows down, hugging the body. Get as close to the chair as you can so that you can feel those that lift, that former brown lift, and arc back here. Imagine your breastbone is being pulled to the ceiling. Keep reaching down through your heels, down through your tailbone, and up through your chest. Inhale back to center. And if you can stand and you have some wall space, I'm going to give you an optional thing to do. If not, you're going to sit in your chair right now and imitate us. But if you can find a wall space, bring your Arms up and see if your fingertips and elbows can touch the wall and if the back of your head can touch the wall. As we get older, we round over, we can't touch the wall with our shoulders and head. Inhale, stretch your arms up in a big triangle. Exhale, come on back down. Inhale, reach up. Notice when your fingers can touch the wall. And exhale down. Inhale, reach. And exhale down. So that's just a little extra for those of you that can work against the wall. And again, if you're rounded like this, it shows you that you, your posture has 
been compromised and you want to work to open up the postural muscles to help you sit up nice and tall. So we have that strap. Take a breath, sit up nice and tall. And take the strap again wider than our shoulders and inhale up. And we're going to pull to one side, bringing the hand behind the ear and the other arm behind you as far as you can go. Actually, both arms kind of with straight arms. Again, notice how you're broadening your chest and squeezing the shoulder blades because those back muscles tend to be overstretched and the front muscles tend to be overcontracted. So we are doing the opposite here in class today to counter what happens as we age and as we round forward. Okay, arms up overhead, we're bringing the other arms as far back as you can get them, straightening the arms, squeezing the elbow towards the ear, deep breaths, Do a second set, let's inhale up. Pulling that strap behind you, squeezing the elbow by your ear. Feeling the chest nice and broad, the depth, breath nice and deep. One more time, come on up and change size. And back to center and release. Ooh, you're doing a lot of work with the upper body, with the arms, with the chest. I'll just shake it out a little bit. And come to stillness. Let's take it in. So again, I noticed myself sitting a little bit forward. So that's why we check in during Tadasana, chair mountain pose to help us remind that give us a chance to check in with our body and notice if we're sitting up nice and tall. It's a chance to reposition our posture. Okay, might wanna scoot forward on your chair again a little bit. We're gonna do some roll downs and some roll ups. So stretching up tall, draw the belly in, tuck the chin to the chest, roll the shoulders forward, roll the upper back, Coming down as far forward as your body would like, bringing head to knee if you can. And inhale, stack one vertebra on top of the other. Roll up nice and slow. It's as if you're inhaling tall and exhaling round. You're waving the body. Just need to go as far as your knees if you can get there. Stretch up tall, exhale round. Last one. And relax. Let's bring our hands to our shoulders. We're going to do some swimming, bringing one elbow back and then the other. Notice how you're putting a little bit of twist in your upper body as well. It's not just the shoulders here. Little twist in your spine.
So you're moving your elbows, opening your shoulders, but you're also opening your spine, spinal twist. And if you'd like, the head can go in one direction when the elbows go in the other, making a little more challenging, a little bit of a brain game, or you can keep the head going with the spine. Let's stop for a moment. And we'll go back the other way, swimming forward. And the head and the spine can start out going in the same direction. A little spinal twist as well as a little shoulder work here. And then if you like, the head could go in opposite directions. Whatever feels good to your body and your brain. And let's come to stillness and take that in. And we'll end with a deeper twist. Let's stretch one leg out, toes up. Bring the hand across to that straight leg. Bring the other hand, saga back of your chair. Coming into a nice big spinal twist. Inhale back to center, bring that leg in. Stretch up tall, press the other leg out, toes up. Bring your hands across, bring the other hand to the side or back of your chair, and rotate. And inhale back to center, bring that leg in. Scoot yourself back on your chair. Roll the shoulders back and down. Feel the broadness of your chest. Close your eyes. Let your awareness and your breath integrate the benefits of today's practice. You may find your awareness drawn into your shoulders and upper back, helping to integrate all the benefits that we created with our practice today.
And when you're ready, open your eyes. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Move and stretch in whatever way feels good to you. Mm. So walk tall, walk proud. Thank you for coming to class today. Namaste.